I could have saved him. No way. Damn it's it. another trap. It's the only way out of here. So we're going to find out. Mm. Is this a good idea? I don't see any other options. Hmm. I can't see a damn thing. What are you looking at? Anything in any of these? Move. What's bro's name again? Mark? Keep looking around. anything nothing useful nothing even to read Columbus Bar this is Laura at reception the, the Columbus Spa is now open for guests we treat each and every one of our guests like a real work of art oh great he's watching us yeah he sure is. Jesse Clark. Site foreman. Um. Anything else? Oh, I guess that's the only thing. Okay, I'm not sure how that helps me. What are you looking at, broski? Did you go through here? There must be something useful around here. Go up here. Time for a spa day, guys. Ah! Jesus. What? Okay, to all staff from Dr. Pulley, 1934. Whoa, this old. 
regarding the boiler room ceiling collapse. Dear all, please note that due to the ingress of water from the laundry room, the ceiling through to the boiler room has collapsed, causing significant damage to plant machinery and water supply. In the circumstances, we have taken the difficult decision to close the spa with immediate effect until repair can be made, which may be some months. All guests are being notified and asked to vacate their rooms by this evening. Good morning. Shit, hold on, hold on. I gotta check the back. Repairs. Uh, we can't afford this. Okay. I'm sure, $350,000 was a heck of a lot more back then than it is today. Guess there's no getting through there. No point just standing around. Oh wait, did you find a way, Mark? Where are you at? What's he doing over there? How'd you get over there? Keep looking around. <sighs> Give me a minute. there. There must be something useful around here. Why don't you try opening the door? Instead of just looking through the damn window. What am I missing? I can't find anything. <laughs> we need Charlie. This way? I can't get over there, Mark. How did you get over there? Looking around. I've been doing that for the past five hours, bro. There's just a paper, a card, a time card or whatever, and a door that she doesn't even attempt to open. She just looks through the window. And there's nothing on the other side of interest. That I can see. Nothing happens when I look around. We'll let you shimmy along the edge to him. Shimmy? Oh my god! Thank you. You're right. I didn't see that at all. This way? Apparently. I'm finally here. Thank you. Thank you, Kith. I was about to lose my mind. I was going absolutely crazy!
Okay, we're back on track. I'm sorry. We're we're back on track to getting everybody killed. Don't you guys worry. More deaths incoming very soon. Uh, worth a try. I'll see if I can get this open. You guys keep looking for another way out. Oh god. Damn it. Time to go, Mark, guys. Give me a hand. I think we can bust through this thing. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, great. Okay. What happened? <laughs> Bad stuff. We'll get back to you. Stay there. Bye. Don't hurry. Well, I'm glad we finally oh. figured out how to go forward. So we could just get trapped. What? This, this wasn't in the script. I... What script? Huh? What are you talking about? Who's talking? here <sighs> Mr. Dumet again What you doing? What you looking at? <laughs> oh god. This is the room, the door that we. Oh God. Okay. Um. Time to go. Did we go this way. Did we look at everything? Anything on here? Alright, let's get out of here. Screw this place. Stay close. Obviously. Tired of these dark hallways. Jump down. Oh, uh, yeah, guess so. I don't see any other 
way to go. No point just standing around. Mark, be quiet. Be quiet. There's got to be a way through. good these are doing us huh <clears throat> oh balance beam time there must be something useful around here repeating dialogue is, <laughs> is getting a little bit much jump down This is my least favorite section of the game. This is pretty bad. <laughs> it's more tedious and frustrating than scary or anything. Keep looking around. And they keep saying the same things over and over again. I mean, it didn't help that I was stuck for like five, ten minutes not knowing where to go at first. Okay. Mark, give me a hand moving this shit. I want to take a sip of water. Jeez. Okay, let's take a break here. It's been an hour. I didn't say hi to Husbando yet. I'll be right back. Six thirty-one. Okay, I'll be right back. You don't think it's cheating if we turn up the brightness? Uh, I don't know how if it's gonna really help much. Um. But it is dark, right? It's really hard to see. Like, I feel like darkness in games is good for scary effect if it's done right. Like in Hellblade, they do it really well in certain sections where it's really dark, it's really scary, but you're not trying to like maneuver through this whole section where you're climbing and going through passages and and jumping down and and coming to a bunch of dead ends it's like it's a straightforward thing and it's creepy this is just kind of frustrating um i'll be right back in just a couple minutes okay keep going forward we just got to get past this part, you know, like this part here is just like huh. uh, at this point, just kill somebody and let's be done with it.
Any little clues? Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh god. Oh no. Here we go. Here we go. A bomb? What is this? Is it some sort of message? Is there Sounds anything scary. around here? Tell us something. <laughs> Let's just leave. Damn it. <laughs> I don't want to play your game. I, I don't want to do it. Okay, let's see what we're looking at here. Two people. They're chained up by the neck to this. There's a saw blade in between them, and there's nine second countdown. But they are uh, not real people, right? They're mannequins. Um. And this. I don't see any cords, like wires that we can follow. Must all be inside. Ugh. All right, let's do this. Are they gonna hook us up to that? Hurry, get the key. Get the key. Get the key. What's it say? Spa master. He has a trap door on his, uh, the, not trap door, but the little plate on his side. Anything else I can look at? <laughs> I don't want to get anyone else killed! Ryan Hart. Senior Demolition Laborer, 8, Ryan Hart. Shit. What was the other guy's name? He was 11. Jesse? Jesse something, I think. Okay, um, so we're just gonna leave. Yep. We're just gonna go. back out here where's um where's homegirl oh little coin spooky spooky do we- am I really gonna play the Alan Wake 2 DLC that Clampsa was scary after this? I need something like- I need to play like a Barbie adventure or something.
We need to get into a uh, Animal Crossing finally. I think it's time. Stardew Valley. Actually, I think Animal Crossing is kind of stressful, right? Maybe Stardew Valley? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the Sims? No, not The Sims. Well, I could kill people on purpose instead of getting people killed on accident, so maybe. Mark, here. Let's move the desk. Hello? Mark? Jamie? Here. Kate. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, thank God. We found a key. Let's get out of here. Stop following me around. Hear that? This way. Zero one eight two. I mean, I wrote that. Oh, it's a new number. <coughs> Is that her or is that her? I mean she I've got a bit. needle what in the, the eye. Well, Dumet offered a unique H.H. H. Holmes experience and Charlie couldn't resist. Problem is for Dumet, it's real. Moving walls, traps, tricks. It's everything Holmes did. So why? Why is he doing it? Why did Holmes do what he did? Why do any of the killers we've covered do the shit they do? Upbringing, trauma, they're so crazy, deep. but they aren't. You know what I mean? Let's just find Aaron. Is this something we've read already? We've been through all these halls. Yes. Okay. I just... <laughs> there, there might be something. You never know. You never know. I mean, they give you a lot of chance to find stuff over and over again. Oh, this is something new. I don't think you guys want to find Erin. It's not going to be pretty. She's not... She's not alive. Why don't we attack him? We have strength in numbers. Guys, over here. <laughs> Holy shit. Is this? We don't know what it is. I'll watch the door. You guys look around. Blood. Anything? No? Just blood? Okay. Shit. 
Can I do anything with it? I swear to God, if she's behind there and she's alive and then I immediately, like, get her killed, I'm gonna be so pissed off. It's a lot of blood. Here! I found her! Give me a chance to save her? Like what the fuck did he do to her? This is cruel. I'm so so sorry. Don't fucking touch me. Don't start pretending like you give a shit now. Let's focus on getting the hell out of here. You two can fight later. We need a plan. Forget his games, traps, all that bullshit. Think about the killers we've covered. There's always a weakness. Are you suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. We can make guesses all day. But if we die here, it won't matter. I'm not playing detective, I just want to survive. Playing detective is how we survive. We play his games, we'll lose. We need to outthink him. He's trying to pick us off one at a time. We need to stick together. Hang on. He could be listening to us right now. Where should we go? Back to the ferry. It left, remember? It's on the line, maybe we could reel it in. Maybe it isn't good enough. The lighthouse. Maybe we can signal for help. There's police boats patrolling the lakes, right? All the way out here? Lighthouses are meant to be seen for miles. Are you shooting any of this? No one is going to believe it without proof. You want me to record him trying to kill us? And the bodies? For the cops? <laughs> Just get out. Don't record. The walls are moving again. Kate, hang on. We need to stay close. Shit! Kate! Hang on! What was that about staying together? Oh, Mark. God. Jamie! <laughs> Guys, we need to stay together. They immediately separate. Wait, no, no, no. What? Oh, oh no. Oh. Okay, I thought he was gonna have to get a tetanus shot. <laughs> First quick time event of the game, it feels like. Jeez. Oh, what is this? Oh, God. Okay. 
This game is cruel. Why are they messing with me and Air about Aaron? Next time I'm just going to shut up. They probably heard me. They're listening. They're listening who my favorite character is and then they make sure that that person dies. Odorless paint thinner. Oh, what's this? Flashlight? Wait, 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 wait. We have a reachy thing. Let's use that. Oh, it's a... Oh, it's a lens. The mount matches. Perfect. Alrighty. Oh, great. <laughs> I mean, should I try to get proof? What does this one do again? Just... Okay, we're, we came from there, so let's now let's go this way. Locked. Okay. Should I, should I get a new hiding spot? There's nowhere else to hide. Is there? I don't know. They didn't train me about this. Well, he's gonna fucking see me. No? You need to take off that bright white hood that you got on, okay, buddy? Like, this is not helping your case here. I don't want to go after him. Where'd he go? Through here? Okay, I guess I don't go after him. Where do I go? Where do we go, Mark? Alright, um... Am I stuck again? Am I gonna be lost again? This game is too damn dark. Oh. I found it. Oh great. Oh, 
shit. Rest in peace, Mark. Please leave. Seventy two, ninety three. Um, 7293 what does it mean okay is that all here I am really like super stressed out. I keep looking at the clock, hoping that it's time to end the stream because <laughs> I just want to go hug Husbando right now, you know, like just hug Mochi or something. Bar 0028. I, what are all these numbers? There's so many numbers. I'm writing them all down, but fuck if I know what any of them mean. Oh my gosh. Didn't somebody redeem mochi time at the beginning of the stream? Can can we refund that somebody? Cause I I totally forgot about it. What are all these fucking numbers? Why am I looking at numbers? Is it a red herring or is, is it important? An ear and teeth. Just like the Is it Charlie's teeth? Do Charlie's teeth look like that? Just like the one killer. <gasps> I 
Hide where? Hide where? Hide where? How do I get... I don't think I should press it. I don't think I should press it. Look, if I... It, whatever I do, he's gonna die or he's gonna live. It better not be. Press the button! Press it! Goddamn! Press the button! Press it! Press the button! Who would it... Who is it? Is it just a recording of like one of the past victims? It's not Charlie. Press the button. No, no, I can't look. Press the button. It sounds like it's on a loop. <laughs> what is that? What it what is what even is that? Oh, it's okay. That's his, um, that's Mark's sweater, but is it him? Is it a mannequin? Like, I don't, what, how does that help me? I'm sorry for not pressing the button. I hope you're going to be okay, whoever you are. A tool? Oh, screwdriver or drill thing. Wait, pick it up. Take it with you. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's his. What? What are we doing? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> like, what's going on? There we go. Okay, we have an attachment. We have a drill on our. Okay. Yeah, we could stab somebody with it. Huh. What's this one? Issue date, 1989? FBR, FBI, Hector Monday. Bearing updated. Is it, is Monday the guy? Is he the killer? Jamie told Kate and Mark that Dumet killed the groundskeeper 
Mark found an FBI ID card belonging to Agent Hector Monday. The crew formulated a plan to meet at the lighthouse. We just gotta live until dawn, guys. Welcome new recruits. That must be Monday. He's his face is scratched out on all of them. Okay, well I have a ton of numbers here, so I might as well try them all. Oh. I did something? Okay. Um, can we do any more? Zero, zero, two, eight, the bar. Zero, zero, eight. What is the purpose of watching these, though? 6883 You okay? No! I just... This oh. fucking thing popped out of nowhere! It's this part. Okay. The only other numbers I have written down are like the the wall, like by the staircases. I don't think this is going to do anything for this. No. Okay, those are all the numbers I have then. Oh, this is the... Nineteen eighty nine. Monday caught the guy in nineteen ninety seven. Maybe he got so fascinated by serial killers that he became a serial killer himself. Psychological assessment conducted by Dr. Isabella Garcia. Patient name, Monday, Hector. Behavioral observation. Hector arrived at our scheduled appointment 24 minutes late. Once we sat down and began the session, he struggled to maintain eye contact. He found it difficult to articulate his feelings and was terse and guarded throughout. Hector has been working long hours and as a result, isn't sleeping well. Hector spoke about his recently deceased mother and displayed evidence that he hasn't yet fully come to terms with her death. I strongly recommended a course of antidepressants but he is resistant to this idea, believing that it would have a detrimental effect on his capability with regards to his current investigation. Hector describes his work in immaculate detail, and contrary to earlier in the session, his thought content is both coherent and logical. He is displaying an unhealthy obsession with his work, but his recent bereavement may be the underlying issue. Hector, is there something you need to tell us, Hector? Is 
something you need to uh, tell us? <laughs> okay. <sighs> Fuck, why is time going so slow? I don't want to play this anymore. Like, it's it's so it's too good that I don't want to play it anymore because it's just it's doing too good of a job, making me very uncomfortable, very stressed out. Yo. I'm not some fucking lab rat here for your amusement. You you kind of are right now though. You kind of are. So now what? Now you walk right into his trap. I mean, he's leading you there. Oh, we get to do our thingy thingy. All right, let's do our thingy thingy. Let's start um, here. Wait. Turn this one off. This one. This one. This one. This one? What happens if you get it wrong? Do you die? <laughs> Did I fuck it up? Yes, there we go. Oh, I guess we didn't. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't know. I don't know what happened. How do you guys feel watching this? Are you stressed out? Or are you guys calm? Are you okay? I don't know if it's only scary if you're the one playing it. You're stressed because I'm stressed? It's stressful in a fun way? You just fell asleep. <laughs> Zanzibar, go to bed. <laughs> go to sleep. Are you fucking kidding me? What? You don't like the wallpaper? Is this her room? Oh yeah, here's the lip balm. Oh 
Oh god. <laughs> Oh, we need to get out of here. He can look through the mirror and see us. Oh, it's locked. Okay, hopefully he's not in there. Okay, that's that's really great. I found 41 of these damn things. Where'd she get that? Oh, what the hell? the premonition that we're not going to be able to interpret in any way, shape, or form. Oh god. Oh, I hope that doesn't happen. Crush between the walls? Fuck. Mark! Oh yeah, there he is. This is our room, huh? Is it? No, the wallpaper looks different. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Um... Jesus, there's cameras everywhere. Mm hmm. This is really fucking creepy. Oh my god, is... It's not Charlie, is it? Was he wearing that? I don't remember. But those are the cigarettes. You want to know what it means to be a killer? You ever been to the art museum downtown? They got this painting by a guy, I forget his name, famous painter. He did portraits of slaughtered cows hanging on hooks. You take a normal person to a slaughterhouse and they will puke their guts out. You make it into a painting, and suddenly it's art. 
There's no difference between the two. No. Not really. Don't look at me like that. You know I'm right. You get it. I know you get it. You got to do something that matters. Make people feel something they've never felt before. Shatter the illusion that any of us are really in control. Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That moment when someone realizes they are at their end. That's when you feel it. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist, a sculptor, an architect. I see the gleam in your eye, Agent Monday. You're not fooling me. Look! Oh, look at you now, huh? Am I gonna be your first? Well, come on, then. Huh? I'm right here. This room is soundproof. You don't even have to wait for a plane to fly overhead. Oh, my God. Feel good, huh? But the blade makes for such a prettier picture. Uh, you've got potential, Agent Monday. If you truly want to be an artist. This is so fucked up. <laughs> Jamie, listen to a tape of Hector Monday assaulting Manny Sherman. Mark found an FBI car ID card belong. Okay. Yeah, but who's that? Is that? Is that Charlie? I guess we don't know for sure still. Otherwise, it would say, like, we found, found Charlie's body or whatever, probably. Ugh. Find the others. What is this? Oh, okay, she's got a light. More walking around dark hallways. My favorite part of the game.
Who says self-help books don't work? You're not going in there. You're going to get crushed. Okay, not crushed. Someone's hair? What in the world? It's a mirror. Fuck! It went off with the fucking mirrors. Okay. In case you miss me, Michelle, morning writing, 8 a.m. Requested to use the library or the music lounge, so assume I'm in one of those. Lunch, family time, 2 p.m. Can we dine outside in the garden? Evening, 5 p.m. The bar seems like a good writing spot. Dinner, 9 p.m. Hey, can you use your pencil to find out what was written on the torn paper? What? Oh. Spare room code 1999. Isn't that a Prince song? Manny Sherman, The Beast of Arkansas by Joseph Morello. By Joseph Morello. <gasps> so that wasn't Dumet on the ferry. That was Joseph Morello. He was supposed to be dead. So... Uh, but honestly, I was glad to be leaving. They had They'd been nice folks, the Stewarts, real nice. Both in their 70s now. Dad, still strong as an ox, being uh, been a military man before moving to the town to settle and start a family. Mom was starting to get a little frail. You could tell she'd taken in the hardest. She'd taken it the hardest. Mrs. Stewart had made me coffee. She was functioning okay, but had a dead behind the eyes look. 26 years on still living in the cocoon of numbness such devastation can bring we talked a lot they were at ease talking about anything the night it happened the cruel details how they felt about him it was just a fact of life to them their daughter had been murdered by a serial killer and that was their world that sounds really mean maybe use kinder words i don't like the cocoon sentence is there a is there a more relatable metaphor it was a shock when they offered to show me Mary's room. I was apprehensive, but thanked them and agreed. So, Stuarts... Stuarts... They're the ones that left their will... to somebody... forgot who... oh, to Richard Belknap, maybe? Were they the ones with the will? I was apprehensive, but thankful thanked them and agreed it would be helpful to get an idea of what kind of girl Mary was. I followed Mrs. Stewart. I could feel the toll that the murder had taken as we walked through the house and upstairs to Mary's room. 
Her husband didn't like to go into that room. Things were neat and tidy, but shabby. We walked over a beaten old carpet past outdated wallpaper and paintings, mostly biblical, biblical, that were thick with dust. The strain and financial impact must have been huge. Mrs. Stewart hadn't worked since Mary's death. Again, sounds really mean. Can you not just say they had a rough time without it being so descriptive? Maybe explain why. Did she find it difficult to face anyone? Her schoolwork was stacked by her bed, and her children, childhood toys and dolls were still displayed on shelves. What stuck out the most, though, was her uniform, still hanging on the front of the wardrobe, ready for her shift at the diner the next day. Mary was a tiny girl, only 5'1", and weighed less than 100 pounds. She didn't stand a chance that night she was taken. I kept thinking about her room as I drove through the town. Milton would have been an unremarkable place in 1995, but it was close to lifeless now, mostly boarded up buildings. The only open shops were liquor stores, which had bums outside them, drinking at 11 a.m. It was as if the town had died when Mary did. Eventually, Milton faded in my rearview mirror as the image of Mary's uniform burned into my mind. Go hug Natalie right now, please. Later the next day, I finally got back to our house, scrambling over a package sat on our doorstep, a brown box. I had no idea who it was from. Had Michelle ordered something? Curiosity took over, and I hauled it inside. Opening it, I found an old tape recorder, along with a quartet of tapes. Listened, I listened to the first one, the voice. Unmistakable was Sherman. It, it was Sherman. Did Michelle order something? No. Mentioned their interviews. Oh, the tape of the interviews. With Sherman. Oh, I should have checked to see if there were more pages. Hold on. Oh, guess not. <sighs> okay. All right. Okay, so Natalie... I think is his daughter. And Michelle must be his wife. Bethany. Bethany. He had two daughters. He came with his wife, his two daughters, and his brother, I think? Morello? Please stop crying, mommy. Please stop crying, mommy. Write down Bethany. Oh, man. I have so many mixed feelings about this game. Beast's body bur burgled. <laughs> Arkansas. This week, the body of the so-called Beast of Arkansas has been removed from its grave by suspected body snatchers. The infamous serial killer, whose real name is Manny Sherman, was executed earlier this month, and his remains were buried at an undisclosed cemetery in Springdale... AR or Arkansas Arkansas <laughs> Arkansas <laughs> a senior police spokesperson for local law enforcement stated at a press conference 
We believe this to be the work of serial killer obsessives and are pursuing various leads. We assume there are multiple suspects involved, but have not ruled out that it may be an individual. Although the burial site is unknown, rumors have been circulating among serial killer enthusiast forums online since Sherman's execution. When questioned by the press about such online groups, the spokesperson added, These people who call themselves fans of killers are very foolish. If they were aware of the despicable details of such crimes, as we in the law enforce as we in law enforcement are, they would rethink their views about celebrating such heinous criminals. Police conf uh, refused to confirm the name of the cemetery to the media in the aftermath of the news. M Mr. Hector, what did you do? What did you do? Focus. Okay. One. Nine. 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 Mrs. Morello animatronic? 